Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. It is Christmas Eve, and the contest is underway. I have a new camera, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm not going to use it for this one, obviously. But uh, for the first time in years, I do have another camera, although there is uh, some ambiguity about the future of the show. That's not why you tuned in. You guys want to see if you're going to win. Well, uh, yeah, throwing $10 in the pot. What a prize. I'm going to make it a correct views care package. A bunch of little worthless cool stuff to give you for watching the show. Now, what I need you to do is to vote on what you think the dumbest story of the year was. That, 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 whichever of these 12, they're going to get the golden dumby, which is what? A little tiny post-it golden uh, size card folded, letting them know. Letting them know that our listeners have chosen them as the dumbest, dumbest story of the year. There we go. So, here's the 12 you get to choose from. And the way the contest works is pretty simple. You let me know what you think the dumbest is. I'm going to compile them. But even if the one that you think is the dumbest doesn't win, you are still as eligible as anybody else is to have your name pulled out. I'll send you picture uh, um, reproductions of various dunce caps, especially the one that you said was your favorite. I'll send you the award, not the cap. Um, I don't know. We'll throw some cool stuff in. Here's what we're picking from. What was the dumbest? Was it the time that Dunkin' Donuts had no donuts last January? Now, d don't don't just zone out here. Stay with me because last January there wasn't a staffing shortage. There wasn't anything wrong. Every everything was humming along beautifully. Like this Christmas Eve, everything is closed. But last year that wasn't the case. Well, Dunkin' Donuts having no donuts. How about uh, the time in Texas? There was another dunce cap. We sent it. Uh, they said to boil your water when the windmills froze in Texas. First of all, you trusted windmills when everybody warned you not to do so, and they froze, even in Texas. But global warming, yeah, tell that. Second of all, you told people to boil water who had no electricity because the turbines froze, you twit. How the hell are they going to boil water? We also have the winner here. Remember the Always Tampons? They they won the Dunce Cap of the Month Award for not only changing the tampon's logo so that it wasn't feminine anymore, but saying that men could have periods. Get the hell out of here with that. Biological male, biological female in 99.9 .9 instances. How about the time that Circle K posted a recipe that they, they actually glued to the, the counter? They glued it there. A recipe for iced coffee. Literally, it said to put the ice in the glass and to then add the coffee to make iced coffee. They put a recipe for iced coffee. Um, how about the, uh, oh, the college suspends a kid for, wearing, for not wearing a mask when he was off campus. That one. The time that uh, California, during a drought, released water for the good of the fish. Meanwhile, the people have no water. How about the uh, trans guy? I'm sorry, the trans woman? No, no, he's a guy. I'm sorry. They put a guy on the cover of Sports Illustrated swimsuit and tried to pawn him off as a female. That, that was pretty stupid. How about the, uh, and his dad said he was so proud of him. How about the uh, CNN? This this one really this one might be my personal favorite. The time that CNN said that the Taliban was uh, peaceful when they were calm. Remember that when, when when they were taking over, they had guns in their hands. Remember that they had the idiot the woman there in the fucking burqa. Remember that? Oops, I almost never swear on the show. How about the Harvard atheist? Nothing wrong with being an atheist if you want to be an atheist, right? The, for lack of better words, the, the head of the religious department is an atheist. In terms of counseling and mediation, he's an atheist in the religious department. 
How about Franklin Elementary School who canceled Christmas because it might not be inclusive enough? Or maybe somebody might use cultural appropriation, not cultural appropriation. Of course, we had the uh, Dr. Eric Rubin who said, uh, in, in talking about the vaccines, we won't know if they're safe for kids until we start giving it. Oh, that's, that's great, Dr. Minkella. Thanks. That's my other pick. I'm torn between the two. And, of course, the one we just did. You can look all these up. They're all on The Correct Views. YouTube.com slash The Correct Views. Black Santa. Because <laughs> Santa is not inclusive as he is. Even though the original Santa, uh, real Saint Nicholas, was, in fact, a white man who did wonderful things for black people and gave them gold to prevent their daughters from being basically turned into what I said before, a chattel, owned, because they didn't have a dowry. In that time, what St. Nicholas, a white guy, did for black people is one of the nicest things that uh, people in that region have ever had done for them in the history of the world. Which of those 12 did you think were the stupid? The stupidest. Let, the, the stupid. The stupidest. Let me know in the comment line. And uh, make sure you get a hold of me. You can also do it at the correct views at hotmail.com. Make sure I acknowledge your comment or I won't know that it's there. I might see it on Rumble. I might see it other places. Uh, the correct views at hotmail.com should do it. Not sure how much longer I'm going to be doing these shows, guys, but I'm really looking forward to see at least what you guys thought of the dumbest show was this year. Let me know, friends. Good night, God bless, and Merry Christmas. And hey, if you're with somebody who genuinely loves you and you love them, make sure that you let them know. Make sure that you do that because you never know. You wake up and someone's not around anymore. They have passed on. They have left. Don't get your own dummy. Don't do that. Good night, friends. God bless.